Hi everybody. In the end, the downpour decreased, however the transcending ridges were so completely drenched that there was an excessive amount of footing. The 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R has 700 horsepower and 37-inch beadlock tires, so wet sand may as well be a foot-thick lane of interstate slab not too much for the guy in the rental Buick Encore, but enough to make even the steepest of dunes. The Raptor R is the brand's long-awaited, if not necessarily inevitable, pinnacle vehicle. Ford had to reinforce the Raptor's intake ductwork because the EcoBoost spec plumbing was bending under heavy throttle when the blown 5.2 gulps air so forcefully. The quicker the boost is ramped up by a new supercharger pulley, the better for spinning those 437-inch BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2 tires. That results in 13.1 inches of ground clearance, Ford acknowledges, but costs it an inch of front suspension travel. The 35s are rational, whereas the 37s declare it to be Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You will only require the edge of the seat, even though your ticket includes the entire seat. Like its EcoBoost powered counterpart, the Raptor R is wonderfully adaptable to any terrain. As the Raptor looks for traction, the front end rises toward the sky and the steering wiggles a little in your hands. However, the Raptor R only managed to match the TRX's observed 10 mpg fuel economy, despite its relatively light curb weight. In order to indulge our childish urge to throw sand, we had to run in rear drive because the dunes were well watered. Even when the advanced track stability control system is completely disabled, this system continues to run in the background. Therefore, the rear brakes will be put through their paces if, for instance, you want to roost some dunes in a two-wheel drive vehicle where the rear locker cannot be engaged. The Raptor R's owners will want to drift it in rear drive mode, probably as they exit the dealership parking lot, as 700 horsepower pickups don't exactly attract the left brain thinkers among us. Therefore, you should petition your local Ford representative if you want a locking dip in rear drive mode. The smash betters the passage by 7 feet from 70 miles per hour and 3 feet from 100 miles per hour. It will not be simple to locate a Raptor R in the wild. First of all, the 37-inch tire package makes the Raptor R look very much like an EcoBoost Raptor, with the exception of its bulging hood. The graphics package that rips on the Raptor's digital mud pattern by constructing the black portion of the graphic out of tiny 8s was also emblazoned on the trucks at Silver Lake. Unless the truck is the same color, it looks like you're driving a Raptor because the Raptor logo renders the second R in Raptor orange on the driver's side. However, if you prefer to let the 5.2 liter Predator speak for itself, you can remove the graphics for free. Whether that generally $30,000 in excess of a base Raptor sounds worth the effort or absolutely crazy relies upon your perspective, and perhaps whether your neighbor has a TRX and is late for a FOMO co repost to those 6A. It's enticing to presume that since Smash fabricated the TRX and Portage constructed the Raptor R, that is where this finishes, however we suspect not.
Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.